February 11. The reading is entitled, The Mind Renewed. Take time to be holy, speak oft with our Lord. children, help those who are weak, forgetting and nothing is blessing to see. And be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans 12 verse 2 The part man has to act in the salvation of the soul is to believe on Jesus Christ as a perfect Redeemer, not for some other man, but for his own self. He is to trust, to love, to fear the God of heaven. There is a certain work to be accomplished. Man must be delivered from the power of sin. He must be made perfect in every good work. In doing the words of Christ is his only assurance that his house is built upon the solid foundation. To hear, to say, to preach, and not to do the words of Christ is building upon the sand. Those who do the words of Christ will perfect a Christian character because Christ's will is their will. Thus is Christ formed within the hope of glory. They are beholding as in a glass the glory of God. By our making Christ the subject of meditation, he will become the subject of conversation, and by beholding, we will actually be changed into the same image from glory to glory, even by the Spirit of the Lord. Man, fallen man, may be transformed by the renewing of the mind so that he can prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God? How does he prove this? By the Holy Spirit taking possession of his mind, spirit, heart, and character. Where does the proving come in? We are made a spectacle to the world and to angels and to men. 1 Corinthians 4 verse 9 a real work is wrought by the Holy Spirit upon the human character and its fruits are seen. Just as a good tree will bear good fruit, so will the tree that is actually planted in the Lord's garden produce good fruit unto eternal life. Besetting sins are overcome, evil thoughts are not allowed in the mind, evil habits are Purged from the soul temple. The tendencies which have been biased in a wrong direction are turned in a right direction. Wrong dispositions and feelings are rooted out. Holy tempers and sanctified emotions are now the fruit born upon the Christian tree. An entire transformation has taken place. This is the work to be wrought. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you.